Hi everyone, I'm going to talk about photo shooting on a rainy day today. First of all, which lens do I use the most on a rainy day and why do I like to use it? Secondly, which type of camera back would I use on a rainy day? Thirdly, why do I like rainy day photo shooting? Let me introduce myself in case if you are new here. My photo style is focused on street photography. I have Nikon D750 and Fujifilm X-T2, but I use X-T2 more for recent photo style due to the usability. And I always take them in RAW and develop them on Adobe Lightroom. Here are my recent photos on a rainy day. These are already on my Instagram. By the way, I recommend you to turn on post notification on Instagram because it seems like the algorithm has changed recently. Just following me doesn't mean that new posts will come up to your feed automatically. Instagram will send you a notification every time when I upload new photos if you set it as explained. Here is how to set the notification. It's very easy. Okay, so let's go back to the main subject. This is my rainy day lens. It's a kit lens of Fujifilm X series. I believe many X users have it. Kit lens sounds cheap, useless lens, but it's not. It's actually excellent with good reputation. I regret for not buying it as a kit lens, which could have saved me close to two, three hundred dollars. I didn't use it as often last year, so I didn't talk about it at all in my last video because it's not a weather resistant. I wasn't active with it. This is my most often used lens on rainy days last year because it's a weather resistant. I used other prime lenses as well at times, but changing lenses on a rainy day can be a hassle, don't you agree? I always have to find a non-wet spot. It's got to have a ceiling where there is no splash caused by wind. I obviously don't hesitate to change lenses when it's not raining, but finding the place and moving around during the rain is a hassle. Now, this is my go-to lens on a rainy day, and my other prime lenses are in my camera bag as a substitute. So why do I like it? Lightness is quite an important issue, as I have to hold my camera on one hand and holding an umbrella on the other. As well as the lightness, this optical image stabilization comes handy. OIS helps me a lot because pressing the shutter button on one hand tends to be shaky. This is f2.824. Sometimes it doesn't have enough brightness or maybe can't get enough bokeh as much as I wish. But I don't expect as much from it. I just enjoy the ability of it. Convenience is more of an importance on a rainy day. Look at this picture. This was taken on my way home when the rain was getting heavier, had my lens cap covered, but noticed a person with an umbrella walking into the three beautiful lines of reflection. It was a perfect photo opportunity. I took the cap off, set the lens at 55mm, and rushed to the back of this person to capture the image. As I ran towards it, zooming in with the lens with my one hand as getting nearer, 
how convenient this zoom lens is for a sudden shutter chance like this. I had to set ISO high since it was dark, hence rather noisy. But it does give it a nice touch. The only thing I don't like about it is these switches. They often get turned on or off without a recognition. Maybe because I always wear a thick glove like this on my left hand in winter and I just don't feel the switch. Or because I carry my camera like this to avoid raindrops. So my jacket and the switches get friction perhaps. By the way, I have previously been asked on Instagram if there were any special protection for camera gear on a rainy day. Nothing specific really. Just try not to get wet or just wipe off when the lens gets wet. I know there are rain jackets for cameras, but it's not for my street photography style. If you have any special protection for the rain that you may recommend, please do comment. Next, rainy day camera bag. This is my rainy day camera bag from Artisan and Artist. It's a Japanese brand. All the products from them are made in Japan. Popular for the high quality products. So keep it on your shopping list for your next trip to Japan. The cross here and the zippers are water resistant. And here is also a same cross on the bottom. And the cross here, it's not a water resistant, but it's a water repellent. I thought it's more than enough for town use on rainy days and it fits me fine. Let's see the inside. It can open and close by the velcro tapes and the clip. Two pockets on the front side and here is a mesh zipper pocket. There are removal cushion in case and separators. And the main shoulder strap has two adjusters. And here is a creeper. The weight is about 1 kilogram. I am usually a backpack user, but I think shoulder bag has better usability on rainy days because unloading backpack with holding umbrella is quite troublesome. Okay, next. Why do I like rainy day photo shooting? simply because there are more variations of shutter chances readily available. For example, the umbrella. Umbrella is one of an iconic items for photography as you see Soul Lighters works. Its unique shape can be a main subject. It can bring a strong side character. And the reflection. Suddenly, my familiar neighborhood can change into a special photo location opportunity due to the reflection. Finding my own special photo shooting location gives me a big satisfaction. And I like the combination of rain, reflection, and the city lights. The combo is full of shutter chances. So as you see my Instagram, I have more night photos on rainy days. And one more thing, passers-by on rainy days with umbrellas don't look at others. They are more concerned with not getting splashed on their feet. So the attention is always on their feet. It's kind of advantageous for street photographers. I believe every street photographers have experienced the feeling of passers-by looking as through to say, what are you taking? kind of expression from them. It's uncomfortable at times, isn't it? But you don't feel it on a rainy day. These are some of the reasons why I like rainy day photo shooting. Okay, please press quit if you like my video and subscribe my channel. And don't forget to turn on post notification on Instagram. See you soon at the next video. Bye!